shenanigans. I like that. All right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so, Rob B., you're up next. You wanted to talk about Trump and the soccer team. What's going on? Absolutely. Well, seeing as the Central Park Karen is now my compatriot, I guess your compatriot, <laughs> Trump. <laughs> so, your compatriot, Trump. <laughs> had some words to share about the bronze medal Olympic women's soccer team. Um, so in comments, he said, uh, woke means you lose. Everything that is woke goes bad, and our, so our soccer team certainly has. If our soccer team, headed by a radical group of leftist maniacs, wasn't woke, they would have won the gold medal instead of bronze. The woman with the purple wow. hair played terribly and spends too much time thinking about radical left politics and not doing her job. The one with the purple so now they were knocked out of contention for met for the gold medal after losing to Canada one nothing earlier this week. Um, oh, you had to put that in there. You had to put that in there, Robbie. You had to put that in there, Robbie. <laughs> they lost to gold medal winners. There's no shame in that. <laughs> no shame in that. <laughs> um, nice. I just, yeah, congratulations, Canada. Congratulations. Yay, congratulations. Congrats, Canada. <laughs> so the, the woman with the purple hair that he was singling out is Megan Rapino, and there is no love lost between Rapino and Trump. They've got beef that goes back. <laughs> uh, in yeah, 2019, when the U.S. when the women's team, the U.S. women's team, uh, eventually won the World Cup, uh, reporters asked her, like, you know, so are you excited about going to the White House? To which her Liz, do you remember her response? <laughs> um, I mean, her, uh, her physical she said, response. I'm not going. <laughs> no, her. Oh, I thought she meant she was like. <laughs> <laughs> but in 2019, if they, when they asked Sorry, her if she was excited me. about going to the White House, she said, I'm not going to the fucking White House. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And at at which like point that. Trump said, you know, maybe she should win before she talks. And they did win that one. They beat mm. the Netherlands 2 nothing. They won the World Cup. So, mm. Mm. yeah. So I'm just, I'm really looking for thoughts and impressions on IQ45 taking a go at Megan Rapino, who is one of your most decorated soccer players, actually ranked number two in the world. And Neil, if you could just roll a quick highlight from the Olympic Games. That, my friends, is a goal from a wow. corner kick. And that's a nigh impossible shot. And she scored two of those during this Olympic. She <laughs> is a leader. She is a champion. She... So Trump's got to go after her. I love this. Johnny, <laughs> talk to me, girl. Talk to me. Let's go with you. I think that it, this is typical Trump to go after like anybody, even athletes or celebrities that have any type of political opinion, like any politically uh, motivated athletes or celebrities Trump is, has an opinion on, especially if it's against his, except for Kanye. He loves Kanye. But um, <laughs> No, I think that, like, Colin Kaepernick, he went after him, and they don't like that the women's national, uh, or I'm saying it wrong, the women's soccer team, they don't like that they're using their platform for uh, social justice or, like he said, leftist uh, opinions and agendas and stuff like that. So I don't care for IQ45. He's gone. I haven't heard. I haven't heard him in the in the news until now, Rob. You brought him back. I was gonna say <laughs> no, that. That is my. You're you know what? That's the, you know, that. That is what I wanted to talk about because I was Typical like, Canadian. I am so tired of giving Trump any kind of like uh, any. I hate that man. I, I'm so tired. No, I'm so glad that he's like was had somewhat disappeared, <laughs> but yeah. Uh, you know, Quieted he's, he's just trying to stay relevant at this point. I mean, that, that's really all he's trying to do is trying to stay relevant, which there is no relevance yeah. to Trump at this point. I mean, he's mm -hmm. he's had his time. But, he's done. I, I'm tired of talking. That's the thing. But that's the thing. How are you going to call women, the U.S. women's national team out for being Say nothing losers. about the men's. Your ass just lost in November. Oh yeah, who's the loser? Where are you saying? Where are you living right now? It's not at the White House in Washington D.C. Yeah, you are a loser, a sore loser to the point where you incited a riot in the nation's capital. Shame on you! How are you considering or calling yourself a true American 
and a patriot. When you are no. calling for Americans to lose, it, and, and Mike Winter, because Mike Winter, you know, is one of my besties, and we watch a lot of sports together. I have a lot of American athletes that I don't like. However, when they are participating and competing in international competition, I root for my fucking country. So don't Represent. tell me you are a patriot when you are rooting and champion, championing the loss yeah. of an American team. Like, what kind of former president are you? And you're pissed <laughs> off. The only reason why you're doing that is because you're pissed off because she called you out? Like, again, one thank member you. of the team, one member no, of the team, thank you. Well, multiple members. No, of the team. thank you, Rob, for it's bringing this motherfucker louder. back to the forefront because we've had some <laughs> easy days since November, not having to deal with him every day. But this just goes to show you that he is not a true American patriot. Mm. Not at all. Especially for a women's team, these aren't criminals, these aren't rapists. These aren't druggies. These aren't people that, you know, have come out against our country. They've come out against Trump. That's a difference. Yes. That's a difference. Politics. And so, you know, I, I, I did feel bad, obviously, you know, that they um, lost in, they lost and had to go to the bronze medal game. They won the bronze. Yeah. However, they, for whatever reason, they didn't play well the entire <laughs> tournament. Trump wouldn't know about that because he's never been an athlete, never been in any type of athletic <laughs> competition in his life. So he doesn't understand yeah. the, the, uh, the no. idea of any given Sunday. You win he played some, collegiate you basketball some. during the Vietnam War. He played collegiate basketball during the Vietnam War. No, what? <laughs> <laughs> what? Wait, really? Are you really making this up? Is, is, what are you talking about? Is, is, is that why you didn't I need to know. Before? That's why that he didn't why go. He didn't go through, are go you making this up? He played collegiate. Like, are you talking about for the actual his team? His little hands gripping a basketball. His little hands. He played collegiate basketball <laughs> at the Wharton School of Business. Ooh, ooh. Those, <laughs> those, 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 at the oh wow did he what, intramural okay. those interesting those those top <laughs> athletes those no not even intramural club sport maybe club a club sport, sport maybe intramural intramural I, I just I, I can never see myself coming out and and speaking out against you know my national team like this like that just shows you that he is a hater he is not about America he is not about patriotism or naturalism he is about Trumpism people you know and it's i appreciate it last reason. night so last night the women's basketball team won their seventh straight gold medal and for those of you who don't know megan rapino is engaged to women's basketball player sue bird sue and bird. so i appreciate oh. i appreciate it they showed them embracing you know megan rapino was congratulating her nice hug nice kiss that's what we are about we support so, our own. So the women's basketball team is just as woke as the soccer team, but they took gold. That there's exactly. I'm not understanding. I'm not exactly. understanding. Yeah. As is the men's See. team. The men's took gold. Yeah. I'm See? just saying. That's why I already know I'm what we're gonna saying. label this one. For <laughs> oh, I'm tired of it. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Oh yeah, no, we're not there yet. I we're not going. We're not even there yet. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Go Gingy. Go Gingy. He is horrible. <laughs> we are so happy that he is out of our everyday conversation. Yeah. Rob, I know mm -hmm. you're in Canada, but you have no idea. Like it's just. Woo, yes, I, I could do. wake up in the morning. I could wait. <laughs> I could wake up in the morning and just argue with Remy, my cat and not yeah. argue with the president of the United States every single day of my life. All right, it's amazing. Talking. It's an amazing feeling. It's let's amazing. Let's get to our comments online. So. Loser. Loser. <laughs> Loser. I know. He's such a hater. <laughs> he is. Like, what? who asked right. you? So uh, Mike Winter says, that's why he's good at shooting paper towels at Puerto Rican. <laughs> 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 oh, my oh, God. Don't get me started. <laughs> Don't get me started. <laughs> That comment wins. 
<laughs> that is that's probably the best comment. Yet. That was very funny. <laughs> All right, Mike, he also says the number of Trumpists who have been on Facebook cheering against the American Olympians was unprecedented. It's shameful. It's shameful. shameful. It's yeah. shameful. It's I, shameful. Listen, y'all, I rooted for it, Jennifer it, Capriati, who I can't stand, but she is American. <laughs> I have to root for yeah. her. It's American. I have to root for her. Yep. Uh, yeah. Jose also says on, on YouTube, Trump is the biggest sore loser that ever walked the earth. Always has been a loser, always will be a loser. That's why he tries so hard. And then Jacqueline Robinson says, uh, meanwhile, his... <laughs> His tub of lard ass could barely roll over to get out of bed and stand in line at the almond station in his, his shitty resort. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> Paulette says he still plays golf in his free time. <laughs> Paulette Bertrand. Oh, but you're right. right. Oh, this is uh, what are we going with? What are we going with? I, I think we got it. I think we all know. We already, you already put it up there. Shenanigans. Shenanigans. The devil is full of lies. Shenanigans. The devil is full of lies. <laughs> All right. And shenanigans. <laughs> the U.S. women's shenanigans. The U.S. women's soccer team did not lose. They came in third in the world, and they in always the finish in the top. They always finish in the top four. It's such a strong squad and has been for decades. So yeah. don't shit on champions. Yeah. Yes. All right. All yeah, right. Hard.